peace all night here, Aaron Royal. We are going into uncharted territory. This is the first time we're taking a third fall in a two out of three tables match. In fact, this is the first time there's been a two out of three tables match. And it's all for the AWF Florida title. Very, very innovative concepts. And as we saw in the first half of the show, very innovative yeah. everything going on right here at yeah. AWF Confidence in Auburndale, Florida. Benny Bennett right now has made his way over to the apron. I believe he's focusing in on Spanky Malone. He just gave a big chair shot over the rabies. What is Benny Bennett thinking? One has to wonder. Benny Bennett always there for rabies, always there to help him out. But so far, with it being kept in the ring, it's much as it has. Maybe Wavy's not taking as much advantage of it as usual. Normally people like to say that it's cheating when he uses Benny Ben on the outside, but this is anything going, so quite frankly, it wouldn't be. Other people will sit there and tell him he should try to win on his own and be a man. This is for the big time. This is for the Florida title. And if you're allowed to do anything you want, you damn sure better do anything you want. And right now, it looks like uh, looks like Spanky Malone wants to finish this in the middle of the ring by putting him through the table right where everyone can see it. What a sweet, sweet victory indeed that would be for Spanky Malone. Spanky Malone right now sizing up the table, knowing full well that he just needs one more time to put rabies due and he'll retain that Florida title. I gotta admit, I don't know if these guys know that the title shot's going on. It's become quite personal between these two competitors. And I tell you what, that table already worse for wear and falling apart out there. I would hope that whatever happens Nobody gets hurt, very severely injured in this match. But there's certainly no guarantees that without the table, the way these two guys beat each other down, that that wouldn't happen regardless. Absolutely correct. Rabies right now needs the one positioning the table. Both men right now struggling to get the advantage. It looks like the challenger may have just that. Look at how he's putting on that angle. Not only can he put Spanky Malone through that, but he could actually injure him, not just win it. Like, oh! Oh! I tell you what! Jason Moore's not going to like that, but a smart maneuver by Rabies pulls Jason Moore in the way, and Spanky Malone throws the spear right on Jason Moore, the former champion, and this can give Rabies the win here, but if the referee's not up and he wins the match, what's going to happen then, Jake Zerone? One's going to have to wonder, we're trying to see if there's a referee in the back, right now it's Rabies who's got Spanky Malone. Right now the crowd is currently split, they are impressed with this match. Absolutely, Spanky Malone the big favorite, but you've got to be impressed with what Rabies has done. And fans here in the AWF, they can cheer for whoever they want. I've got some confidence that they're not cheering against Spanky Malone, but just like you said, for the sheer greatness that this match has become. Here he goes. Oh, look at that. Oh, he goes. Oh, he puts it through the table. Spanky Malone should be your winner, but again, referee Jason Moore is down. Where's Spanky Reyes? Where's Richard Merritt? G Beard's not here. Somebody's got to make a decision as to what's going on. I can't ring that bell. There's no referee telling me to. There is no official end to this match. He put rabies through the table. These are the types of things that people are complaining about here in the AWF. Fist drop off the apron by rabies. And one has to wonder if we even have a fourth table. Oh, no. I'm well, a little worried as where that show. fourth table might be. Uh, you may have to watch out there. Let's hope they have, have a fourth insurance. table. Well, hopefully somebody else has a table, because I really like the spot I'm at. Rabies right now delivering shots in on Spanky Malone. I hope so, and the, there you heard him on the, on the house mic, the bastion of inconsistency, the owner of the AWF, Richard Merritt, saying since the referee didn't see it, it has to keep going. We, uh, again, we could talk about the, the politics of it all night. There's something more going on to that story with the Universal title than just a replay. Oh. And maybe I'll be the guy to come to the bottom of it. But right now, what I want to find out, who's going to walk away from this brutal match with the Florida title? Well, as we found another table, we also have another situation as Rabies drops an elbow. That security guard that was ambushed by Rabies and Benny Bennett, he is back out to ringside. Frankie Gassino is trying to stop him. However, alas, to no effect, to no avail. And it's right now the challenger, Rabies, who is setting up yet another table. Could this be the one that puts him over the top and make him a two-time Florida champion? It could be, but the power is spanking. Spanky Malone, we've seen it. Rabies set up the last table, but Spanky Malone able to use his sheer power, put it, Rabies through the table. Jason Moore didn't see it. The official call has been made that the match must continue. And here goes Rabies up top. If he puts it through another flog splash, he's going to be the first two-time Florida champion. But oh, a little possum being Wait, played there. Spanky, Spanky wants Malone. A is he going to do it? Benny Bennett up there trying to stop it. Spanky was oh, and he's, and he's successful. 
I'm sorry there, Aaron Royal's about to say Spanky Malone was trying to powerbomb Ray Beast into the table. Benny Bennett stops him, and Jason Moore saying it's anything goes, so he's letting it go. And there's Benny Bennett again. There's a security guard interfering in on Benny Bennett. Security guard getting Benny Bennett away, but Ray Beast still having the time to try to do it. What's he doing? Oh! What? All right, Jason Moore declaring that was an offensive maneuver. Put himself through the table. You must put your opponent through the table. I guess that sounds fair. The, the, the more and more this happens, the more and more I'm getting worried about our little station up here. I tell you what, there's another table right back there with the sound guy. Let's just go uh, right, yeah, right let's, over yeah, that he, way. He's been messing up all night anyways. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, we are in double overtime of a tables match for the AWF Florida title. We are going to our fifth table. Pretty soon they're going to have to use chairs. They're going to have to use other forms of furniture. Spank him alone. in oh. T. Rabies. And Jason Moore just getting that table out of the way. Or that would have been bad, bad news for rabies just like bad news for the canvas it looks like right there in the middle of the ring yeah that canvas is going to need work the ropes are going to need work tables going to be need work but more important these two competitors they're going to need a lot of a lot of medical attention after a match like this look at spanky malone right and, now and what kind of effect even though it doesn't count what kind of effect is having gone through three tables placed on rabies in the center of the ring i don't know about you but i know you've been caught in the middle of the fray in the ring so have I. You never had to go through a table. I can't imagine what, what Rabies is going through right now. Spanky Malone, you saw how much it took out of him to go through that one, but he's been able to fight his way back. Uh, honestly, right now, Rabies is all but out of this. But Benny Bennett on the outside, you never know what might happen. You're right, absolutely. Rabies right now, he's still just trying to catch his, capture his breath, just trying to somehow regain consciousness. Spanky Malone puts another table in the ring. He takes a part of the one of the broken tables and bashes it across Rabies' head. All legal right here. You know, other people, might, you know, talking about uh, Rabies out there with Benny Bennett. Is that fair? It's just as fair as coming across your head with a piece of the table like Spanky Malone did. And I tell you, this crowd just totally worn out right now. I'm worn up just sitting up here talking about this match. Not to miss and all the other great action going on tonight. And we've still got the Universal title match coming up. Eric Stevens and Kenny King. Eric Stevens having that confrontation with, with Richard Mare and the fans earlier. And you see a huge Russian late sweep there in the middle of the ring. I don't know what to expect from Eric Stevens in that title match tonight. I don't know either. He obviously has is very bitter upon what's going on over there. But back in the ring, there is a challenger, Rabies. He's calling up for his man, Benny Bennett. His man at arms. He's got a trash can. But that security guard, again, interjecting himself. Now, well, what's he doing now? This, everything is legal. The trash cans are legal. But hey, there again, I guess him helping out Spanky's just as legal too. I'll say everything's legal in this situation. If you got a security guard helping you out, more power to you. Both men right now, vertical position. Spanky taking up Rabies. Vertical suplex. He has him up there. Delivers. Oh, doesn't try to put him to the table. I don't think he knew where the presence of the table was. Maybe not. Very interesting strategy there. Oh! the head of Rabies with a trash can, Spanky Malone, and now the crowd's getting pumped back up. They can sense their victory for Lakeland's own Spanky Malone. As right now, Rabies returning home in that garbage can, Spanky Malone ready to bounce off the ropes, coming in, big spear into the table, and that's all. All right, he spears him right through it. What a crazy match, and the night's not over, but it's been a crazy night, but he's still your Florida champion, Spanky Malone.